Curious gang, it's your London friend Vasi, but as you can see today we're in Tulum, Mexico. And as you can see today it's not really the picture perfect day in Tulum, but this is the reality and this is exactly what you can expect from my travel guide. Very realistic and also down to earth. If you're new here, I'm giving you a very warm hug. I'm super excited to have you in here. My name is Vasi, I live in London together with my boyfriend Ben and we love making videos about the city but also traveling and of course giving you tons of useful tips. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you know exactly what you should do. Hit the subscribe bell button down below for more cool content like this one. And of course, because you cannot miss out on all these free tips. Are you ready? I hope you are because I'm totally ready to dive into this video. And first off, we took a very long 11 hours flight from London Gatwick to Cancun. Once we landed, we waited on quite a long queue to get stamps on our passport and also to get filled in one of these immigration papers. And they don't actually tell you this, but you should keep this precious paper at all costs. Especially don't throw it away as Ben did. After that, he had to pay extra $30 to get one before leaving. It's actually $35, not 30 yeah, Ben is very pissed, but that's fine. Once you get this very precious piece of paper, now you can go out at the airport, which might seem simple, but for me, this is one of the most overwhelming experiences during the whole trip, because once you get out, all the taxi drivers will start approaching you, start screaming, prices, directions, because I kind of want to avoid this stress. I book my ride in advance at booking.com, which I find pretty reliable. If you're going to places like Tulum, Playa del Carmen, or generally any place which is not extremely close to the airport, of course you can still take a taxi and it won't be extremely expensive. You can also directly rent a car. A very rare video of Ben driving. So the point is that if he can do it, you can also do it. One of the things which you might not know about me is the fact that I'm very stubborn and there are certain things which I really like doing in a certain way and walking in a new city is exactly one of these things. It doesn't always make sense to do it, it's not always the best option but I'm the type of person that I just have to do it. We started walking and it's really beautiful like look at all these trees and everything around but I swear, we've been walking for 10 minutes and I haven't seen even one other pedestrian, which is a, a little bit odd for me. But also, look how nice it is. I don't understand why people don't really walk in here. Like, look! Five minutes later... Now I understand why there aren't any pedestrians. Because there isn't really where to cross. We literally just had to run from over there to here. After our driver finally arrived, we went to Cancun where we spent a couple of days and guys, I didn't actually tell you this. So the main reason we decided to go to Mexico is because Ben's sister is currently living in there and she also had a little baby and we just had to visit them. Cancun would be perfect for you if you want to, s to spend most of your time at the hotel or at the beach itself and don't really bother a lot with uh, traveling around Mexico and you're definitely looking for more relaxed vibe. And the quite popular alternative to Cancun, it is Tulum. Yes, you guessed this one right. And the way in which I would describe Tulum, it is boho, smaller hotels, more sustainable and targeting younger people as well compared to Cancun. And something which no one told me before I actually went to Tulum, is the fact that most of the beach itself, it is actually private. Ouch. 
wait, let me explain to you. It is either owned by small boutique hotels that also have the land in front of it and next to it you have the restaurants and the beach clubs. But the thing about it, there are so many and made one after the other that if you're not actually staying at uh, this hotel or you're not going to the beach club itself, then it might be quite hard for you to find a place to enter the beach, which it was a little bit mind-blowing to me. And continuing with my favorite place in Mexico, which was actually Isla Mujeres. The only regret which I have is the fact that I didn't stay in there more. chance to see one of the seven world wonders then you should definitely take advantage and do this as well i hate to ruin this for you but accommodation in one of these beautiful resorts might not be as budget friendly as you have expected or at least definitely not as I expected and don't get me wrong you can still find cheaper alternatives especially if you decide to stay further away from the beach more in the local areas or in the city center itself in Tulum we paid $150 for a hotel which was not exactly on the beachfront, it was on the second line of the beach. This was more on the lower end side of the hotels because prices can go up to easily up to one or two thousand per night. This is like one of the weirdest bathrooms I have ever been to. Come in, come in. We have this which is made of wood. I'm not an expert in physics, but I also have to say that wood is the most water resistant material, so I would say it's like Quite an interesting choice. Oh, I think they killed it. Yes. And let me tell you that there is a big difference in the hotels between Tulum and Cancun. Cancun is more about the five-star super huge resorts which pretty much provide you with everything that you need whereas in Tulum it is more about the small boutique hotels with boho vibe. <laughs> a little bit like Italian food. Everyone has tried it, we all think that we know it, we all know tacos and burritos, but Mexican food it is a lot more than that. A couple of things that uh, I suggest you trying it is tortas, which are kind of Mexican sandwiches, which are stuffed with uh, different ingredients, gorditas, which are kind of similar to tacos, tamales, of course fajitas, nachos, quesadillas. Most delicious meal that I had during my trip in Mexico was this ceviche. So it was like half a kilo of raw fish, it has shrimps, clams, octopus, crab, and uh, onions, and oh my god, just look at all this goodness. It was incredible and it costed like ten dollars for all this and here comes the part where I give you only useful tips so first of all like Mexico it is this type of place where you definitely need to bring cash with you I exchanged some pounds to pesos before I went to Mexico because I didn't want to land and literally have zero local currency I think it was pretty convenient it's definitely a better option than withdrawing directly when you're there and here are some more useful tips for you. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one from Mexico because I still have so many stories to tell you and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any cool content. Love you all!